and that just set the tone for how the game has been played from that point. And those were all steals coming in from Slay Island. And speaking of Slay, tied at two apiece, and Reezy will take it to the rack. Reezy comes in averaging 14 points a game. Working against Walnut. The only team they've lost to this year has been the Bucks twice. JoJo over to Nacho. And he put some cheese on it. Go for the trifecta with the ticket. That would be awesome. Here's UC Manny. The guy that was retained a year ago to this Orlando team, and he finishes strong. Up ahead to Josh. A man from Decatur, Georgia, and he'll turn it over. Chatty Nick out on the break. He'll challenge Quay. A reverse jam by Chatty. We're going to get scared when they were going through that five-out set and just having BP ISO the whole time. But he's just been able to slow him down. If you can have one of the main scorers on his team just held to 15 points and we're at this stage in the game. Maddie. Of course, Mel was saying, you know, hey, lay off me, Scott. Like, I've been sick the last couple weeks. Helping them out in season one. Mama! There we go. He's getting into that rhythm now. He's stumbling. Let me take him down low and towards the post and get the bucket. But Wolf had other answers. Fab, and that will count. And one. That's the most sharing we've ever done, Dirk. It is. I mean, it felt heartwarming, and Phil said he still doesn't like me. So I said, <laughs> I hate you. Faye and chill kind of guy. Dimes. Oh, my. There's his former teammate, and he's talking to him. These two teams really feed off their, their energy guys, like Mel East and Ramo. With losses to the Heat, Magic, Blazer 5, and 76ers. And the lob, Sherm will flush it. Nacho to be doing that's with the exact same thing that these guys ended up doing yesterday as well. Bear, what a behind the back, and then the two-hand jam. And this is the matchup just needs to stay this way throughout the whole game. But also, you do have to get the help from your center a lot because this with Plondo setting the screens, you're not going to hit as hard. Uh, for Patriots Gaming, you allowed Celtics crossover to get so many up. And they're sitting at 11, and they've made six of them too. So they've been able to knock him down. And the big reason for that is Mel East, 3 of 3 from behind the arc. Gets it off to compete. Their last year number one pick gets it to this year's number one pick. Comes in averaging a double-double. DT for Magic Gaming, I mean, he's starting to put himself in to the conversations being one of the best power forwards that we have in this league. Easily top three. And the Pacers can hold it for the final shot of the quarter if they want. And Ramos says, nah, I'm going to hit this three. Is that cool? Power forwards in the league. Probably mentioned Gliz in there, too. We'll see him play tonight versus the Cavs. There's no DQs. That's what I'm trying to say. And that's going to go in. Wow, we got a nine-point game. Let's check in with Phil quickly. You're not going to shoot it. Five seconds left in the quarter. Fab smothered by Wolf. And then Mel East, how about it? Teams felt like it could be the Knicks. Goofy finally gets the board. Up ahead of Malik. And the heartbreak kid. For one of the best big men in the league. Compete. It's all the way to the rack. That is things that the community has, has provided for us. And what a jam there by A. Rooks. See, that's always a big way whenever we show highlights. I can tell if it's season one or not. I just got to look at the jerseys. I'm like, oh, it's a season one highlight. <laughs> yeah, the champion ones are quite the upgrade. So much better with Adam the first on that sharp shooting playmaker. There's no questions about it. About that. You better hope 2K20 is very mashy. Mo from downtown, bang. Bear, that's a lot of space. Over to turn up. Can this be the dagger? He's got to be really careful here. This, this could get real ugly. I think there's been a couple times too where Schrader's looking to do the exact same thing. He has no business at the league level. It just doesn't. It's just so much more fun to watch. Maybe not for Knicks fans right now, but got eight points. He was talking during the timeout, Dirk, about, hey, they're hitting a bunch of lightly contested shots. It was a big jam by BP at some point. Those have got to start missing. 
Seven games in total tomorrow. We'll play the quarterfinals and then we'll take a break and we'll come back for the final three games.